absolutely fabulous. And here's something else that's fabulous. It's Dawn Summer with hot stuff. Two hours to get set up, loaded out, and profiles up and everything, levels on. So I've got Alex for an hour, I think. He's disappeared at the moment, so... Monday the 20th of May and after working all weekend on lintels we're having a bit of homework today scaff height so it's block work today yep so we just need to get the get the cuts worked out get them done start to pack up load out it's half a mixing so again we're only here half a day <coughs> Uh, Alex is off to see Nicko back this afternoon with his sister and Stuart's brother-in-law. So we'll be finishing early. So I thought, right, there's no way we can finish early on lintel jobs. <coughs> well, you can't plan to finish early. So um, we're dropping on this for uh, half a day. See what see, We'll definitely get all the block work up anyway. It'll probably be a bit of a push to be messing around with scaffold and that. So that's the that's the uh, that's the the goal for today is to get the block work up. So at least, well, probably up to Lindel, I suppose. Be able to get that off, off hop up the size of it. And then um, maybe I can sort the lintels out this afternoon while Alex is not here. I'm toying between a cavity lintel with a 50mm or angle iron and a concrete lintel with a cavity closure fitted underneath. Just have to see what, what we come up with. Work out what the costs are and what have you. So, uh, yeah, Alex is coming down in a sec. Got me broom. Got me starter pack. Need to get all the tools out now. It's a nice, cool morning. This is the last of the good days for a bit. So, um, yeah, let's get going. Cavity to cut out as well, I've now when I get on to um, trestle height. Keep saying trestles. Caveman way. Yeah. Mm. Go higher if you want. Right, we're loaded, starter packs up, um, mix next. Yeah, I think so. You get the mix done, I'll get the cuts done. I'm getting set up for all the cuts. So I've got, uh, got this corner measured, so I'm going to get these done. Then um, we've got the coarse and brick ones to cut. We always leave them to where there's a window, so there's less cuts to it. And um, that's it, innit, I think. Get cracking.
Right, we've had a quick break. Had um, a breakfast. Spoil time. <laughs> so that's just joining what we've done so far. I've got all our bond sorted out. Most of the cuts are done. Probably overdone it with some of the cuts because obviously the window's in here soon. One, one two, three. Yeah, we're going to need to cut across the window at 140 cut. So the plan is to try and get this up to scaffold height all the way around. So um, I'm going to top the mix up while I'm actually jointing up. And then, um, well, I don't know though, I think we've only used quite a few block up yet. That wall's going to take a few in it because we've got the pikes as well. How far, how far have we gone with the blocks? It's lintel. Well, I mean, this side would go up higher, can't we? We're going all the way up to lintel all the way around. Yeah. So up to there, that's the plan. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, the front door has got soldiers over it because this house had the canopy. So, um, yeah, we just crack on, Let's get this mix topped up, and then um, carry on. Time it is. Pull our fingers out. Ten past twelve. So I've got Alex for an hour. I think. It's disappeared at the moment. So yeah, everything's set out now. Windows all set out. So we're down to small cuts now. Uh, that's all done. Just need to insulate that. And then it's just uh, basically that corner really. In this corner. Uh, one, two, three, four courses on top of that. With the uh, I'll, I'll cut the. Um, the splits out just brought some more block round which have been in the garden for a long time waiting so uh, yeah that's, that's how we're doing There you go, that's my side up to lintel. That's got what a block and a half to go on, and I've just got the side up size I can reach it. So we're knocking off now. Alex has just gone in to get ready for his gig, and then um, I'm going to finish that little bit off. Finish editing tonight's video, which isn't ready yet, so I better hurry up. And then I've got a few little bits to pick up and run around after today. Might try and sort of lintel that this afternoon, depending on where I'm going. <coughs> I do have to go to Muggles yesterday's job to get the props taken off the door and then we get paid for that one. 
So we'll get these two on now and then monstrosity is why we like to scaffold on the inside if that was a bit wider we could have just put three trestles up with four planks and built the whole thing over and from the inside but to get around the perimeter we need all this all our new scaffold a trestle every plant we can find in the garden to get 135 bricks and get the lintels on and get, get a couple of pikes up either side but yeah but at least it's safe anyway. It's a nice safe scaffold. We've got the platform down lower and then the scaffold the planks up higher so we can load our bricks a bit higher. So be nice to work off. Bit of a weird slope in it, but that's the way the ground works. Here comes Alex with the last two planks. hours to get set up and loaded out and profiles up and everything levels on you can see here uh, this is the new level this is our 360 level so we don't need to spin it because the laser's 360 obviously so let's get let's get this put away then in, and we've chosen a few of them so i want to know what's the last text in your phone hmm. oh, oh. <laughs> it's so dry is it going to be texting dry? adam from management to tell him that we're here properly all of us <laughs> it's going to be no, i turned my phone off as a that you received that you, <laughs> you received or that you sent that you well i'll, I'll let you choose because one could be more I, dangerous I, than the other i kimberly i'm here we're waiting for someone to bring us up <laughs> <laughs> exactly nicola what's yours it's the it's the girls allowed to management chat i'm going what's the message Cheryl, I'm here. <laughs> I didn't think this through. The same message is going to be for everyone. Kim, have you got any juice for me? <laughs> I'm literally looking and I'm like, such worky, like, so management, boring, boring yeah. stuff. Um, another question that came in. Have you ever thought about representing the UK in your position? No. <laughs> do you know what? It's a huge responsibility. I don't cope with the pressure. You do realise, like, it is the biggest thing in the world. Did any of you ever been to Europe? Me too. Oh, yeah, we went last year. Yes. Yes. You, Wild. you came to Liverpool. Yes. See, for me, Liverpool yeah. could cut out of an Irish passport and then the legs are just <laughs> oh underneath it. Did sales as a Halloween costume, you know? It's really well, cool. And I was so impressed with Anaya because it was somebody doing something to Cheryl's voice. There was a good reason and not to do block work first. Like, Pissing cow eyes in the way of the way. Is it the one who says... Then you slowly realise you just can't go to the garage and get a pint of beer. Really? Just one of them. And then there's a... Um... What is making me laugh is I can't explain exactly what it is on a BBC radio TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, and lastly, fashion disaster. What is that one outfit that you look back and think oh, absolutely not? There's hundreds. Oh come on, don't be stupid. The beginning. Oh, Basically, everything up until that jump is worse and no good advice. At least no good advice had a direction. And it was leather, it was never tin foil, it was yeah, silver right. leather. leather. Jump was horrific. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, listen, guys, we're going to play a little track, but do not go anywhere because yeah. I've got a few yeah. more questions yeah. just. <laughs>
they were involved in a global scandal. Last year, the British yeah. Museum announced that hundreds of treasures from its storing were missing in Scotland, and some have been damaged. And in sport, the 14 time champion Rafael Nadal had been knocked a yellow warning for thunderstorms is in place for large parts of Scotland. My showers are expected to clear across the UK by this evening. That's the BBC News at three minutes past six. Now let's get the traffic to Bobby. Hi there, thank you. Uh, first of all, to sport in Lincolnshire, 16 section. Between three and two, we've got slow traffic. Then the M4 is on the other for Cheveley. We've got slow traffic through the roadworks, but it is all moving. Uh, Gloucestershire down as well, to 40 closed completely still. <laughs>
Tina Turner really made it big. I can't stand this anymore. We need 30, 34 to get this up to. Full of water. Full of water. Skinny cuts for Al. He's just getting bricks. Cover up there now, Al. Those two bags, please. Mm -hmm. Two bags, please. Um, you know, just gonna cover it with the spot boards. No, I don't want to cover it with them ones. It could blow off. Wait to pull them. Three bricks, huh? Little bits of insulation for? They're off cuts. So we'll just use them when we come to get on it. If and where we can, yeah. Well, some of them go in, well, some of them go in the jobs. Pardon? I suppose so. What are you using up in the pipes? Can I have three crap brick, please? Yeah.